first squiddly diddly of the session. Reasonable size. Legends, we are on Kangaroo Island and uh, we gave Handsome Bay a bit of a crack earlier for some salmon with no luck. I think the tide was just out. Uh, so on the way back to our accommodation, which is on the way to Kingscote, we have um, stopped in here at Vivon Bay and we're having a crack. We've got a few things going. We've got a, a very over the top um, squid on a float set up over there. Yeah, near the weed beds. I do have my new rod with a Z-Man paddle tail on it. Um, this one is just uh, gonna flick out for some, who knows, whiting, trevally, flathead with some squid on it. And if we get some fish, um, I've got my larger rod with 40 pound braid. I've got some 60 pound uh, leader that we can put out a balloon and see what we get. We put out a little bit of tuna oil and you can, I don't know, you can see there's a bit of a stick out there. Well, we've just had our first bite. So this is encouraging. It feels a bit whiting-ish. I mean, this water is just beautiful blue. Beautiful blue water, turquoise almost. Sandy bottom, kind of perfect. I haven't got a huge amount of weight on. I, I don't mind fishing with a little bit less weight. Okay, oh yeah, I can see my float. I might just let that sit there. And we'll see if something happens. And in the meantime, give this one a little bit of a flick out the other side. See if there's any snook or salmon. Probably not gonna sink far enough, this plastic for flatties, but we'll soon see. Come back with some action. Anything at all, to be honest. All right, some weight. Might have been a crab, felt a bit weighty. Crabs out there. Bit of a one arm band at that one. First squiddly diddly of the session. Reasonable size, about on the, uh, the Inku Red Devil. Actually, he uh, didn't catch the first bit pulling it up because uh, I had a whole heap of line, uh, sorry, weed on the line. And I thought, uh, I actually, I'd never had weed uh, that had been stuck to the line so much. So I wasn't aware that I actually had it on there. But when I looked down, and today I forgot my bloody polarized sunglasses. When I looked down, I thought there's either weed on the end of that or we've got another squid or we've got a squid. So, yeah, pretty happy with that sucker on that Inku Red Devil. First time I caught something on that one. So yeah, pretty happy with that. We'll get him back out there. We're uh, just heading on a lovely sunset, so probably good time to be in the water. And on the, uh, on the fish. So we're gonna see if we can catch a few more squid to go with uh, old mate down here. Would have loved to put out a balloon for you guys. Seems like the perfect night to do it, but we'll, uh, have a crack, see what else we can find. I think we're gonna have a squidding session. Oh, he didn't quite take it. You see the ink? Oh, hopefully you can see the ink. It's all right, we'll just leave him down there. I can see him swimming around everywhere here. Just gonna put my uh, jag out a little bit. Even without the polarides, I can see them. There may be one already chewing on that float, just the way it's moving. If I can literally get three or four squid, he's coming for it. Let's give it a few twitches, see if we can get him to take it. Doesn't look like a huge one. Jesus, where's he gone? It's very interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna check that larger rod because I reckon there's something holding on to that for sure. Gotta be. No, oh, that's annoying. They're not too far from the jetty, which is good. I'll get this one over here. Come 
on, sink down. I've got a problem. Oh, I don't know. Never easy, is it, guys? It's taken heaps of line off of here. Oh, well, that's of course when it does that. Are we good now? Might need to change colour because this um, blue glow white tiger might be actually too similar to the water for them to see it. I mean, the, the squid definitely came up to it. But I might need a brighter colour just to stand out like the red devil. I've got another Inku bright yellowy orange one. We'll come back when we get some more. It's a bit difficult. Um, we have got the big rod out. We've caught some Tommies. There's a couple of blokes here catching them as well, but they don't eat them, so they've been um, donating them to us. Uh, we've got Livey out. We've only got 40 pound braid, 100 pound leader. Oh, sorry, 40 pound mono, 100 pound leader on this. So whatever we get, it'll probably be a reasonable fight. I'm not sure how good this um, footage is going to come out, so apologies. But uh, this is the second time it's gone out. Um, had a few little touches, or I don't know if it's wind or just a live bait pulling. Certainly nothing's taken the bait. I pulled it in and it's going back out. It's probably 100 or so metres out. So I'm going to put the ratchet on. And we want to hear that crank pretty hard and see what we can do. In the meantime, we've been catching a few Tommies, reasonable size. We've got a feed with the squid we caught earlier. It's nearly 9 p.m. so I sort of nearly had enough. But I'm keen to uh, see if we can at least get one reasonable run on that big rod. We'll come back if we hear it squeal. Give this sucker one last chance off the uh, end of the pier. Shouldn't take too long to get him out. We're the last ones here tonight. He's still very much kicking. Wind is right in our back, heading straight out. So that was about a six hour session out on um, Vivian Bay Jetty. Um, finished us with one squid. Um, got about 20 um, Tommies, thanks to the guys that were also catching them and uh, gave us a few because they don't actually eat them. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything off the big reel. Um, there's always tomorrow. Um, we've kept some of the fish uh, heads and, and whatever for some uh, burley tomorrow and uh, we'll give it another go.